Hello everybody, Chris Profi, Musically Obsessed. It is late tonight, just got back from uh, work. Picked up some extra hours. And uh, on my way there, um, I stopped at the thrift store because I know that they have dollar records. And I picked up 10 classical and jazz records. So if you're not really into classical music or jazz, you could probably just turn off the video right now. But all these were a dollar. Uh, I have not listened to them yet. Um, I've looked at a couple of them. They all look like they're in excellent condition. So let me show you guys what I picked up. So uh, first of all, George Winston autumn uh piano solos i have another one of his records and i also have his album winter on cd just beautiful piano music and this is on the Wyndham hill uh record label i love their inner sleeves uh they have this sort of uh printed poly inner sleeve and uh like i said the records uh were it doesn't even look like it's been played. Just beautiful. Um, got another George Winston piano solos. December. I think this might actually be the one I have on CD. I can't remember whether it's called December or Winter. This is on uh, Wyndham Hill. Uh, 1982. Again, it's got that. Inner sleeve, there's the label. Um, this next one I've never seen before. This is by an artist, uh, Mark Isham. This is called Vapor Drawings. And this is on Wyndham Hill as well. Um, I don't know anything about this. Let's see, Mark Isham. Synthesizers, trumpets, fugalhorn, piano, soprano sax, electronic percussion. So I guess this guy plays everything. And forgive me, I do not know who this is. But I like the Wyndham Hill label. Again, you've got that printed inner with the uh, label. They just put out some quality, quality music. And, you know, I hate to call it classical. I mean, I guess that's the genre, but it's sort of, um, I don't know. It's, it's especially George Winston, it's sort of ethereal and... Um, uh, it's, it's like, uh, this mood music almost, um, you know, meditative, uh, you know, it's hard to describe. It's not, uh, classical doesn't do it justice though. Um, never heard of this artist, Michael Hedges, and this is his album, Aerial Boundaries, uh, almost new age, I would say as well. This is uh, 1984 on Wyndham Hill as, as well. So this is all around the same period. And uh, now you got your classic Wyndham Hill label again. So excited to listen to these. Uh, next, um, Grover Washington Jr. Wine Light. Uh, kind of a cheesy cover. I have... Um, I have a couple Grover Washington Jr. CDs, but this is my first album by him. So anybody who knows about him, uh, let me know about this album. This is uh, 1980. So I kind of get, and I kind of understand what I'm probably going to hear. This is on the Electra label. Uh, let me know. It looks like I'm going to listen to a Metallica record. I uh, picked up a couple Al Dimiola, really like him. Uh, this is his album, Casino. And again, all these were a dollar. This is 1978 on CBS Records. Custom inner sleeve. Um, Al Dimiola, Splendido Hotel. Looks like we have a gatefold here. This is uh, 1980. So these are all sort of around the same time. Uh, this is a double record on CBS, or Columbia, I'm sorry. 
again, these are all in really, really good condition. So either the person before me didn't really play them that often, or they just took really, really good care of them. Uh, next, I picked up a couple of Chuck Mangione albums. Now, I have a lot of his CDs, so I believe that I have... I believe I have all of these on CD already, but um, I do not have them on vinyl, but now I do. Uh, Children of Sanchez, double record on a and Records, uh, 1978. What do we got in here? And forgive me, I'm a little tired. Um, oh, cool. So this, this pulls out of there. And this sort of like an inner gatefold. And then you've got this on the inside. And as I said, this is on AM Records. Um, full, first time pulling this out. Uh, oh, very cool. It's a custom polylined uh, AM sleeve with the uh, you know, traditional label. Uh-oh. Why are we stuck? Oh, there we go. Yeah, again, as I said, either these were not played or the owner just took really, really good care of them. And then, of course, the other album is, you know, again, same thing. Never seen that custom inner sleeve, though. That's pretty cool. So that's Children of Sanchez, and then I picked up um, his album Feels So Good, and uh, this is, uh, looking for the year, 1977 on A&M Records. This does not have a custom inner sleeve, but we've got the traditional A&M label. And the last one, another Chuck Mangione album, 70 Miles Young on a and correct? Yes, 1982. So yeah, all these albums were like late 70s, early 80s. So they're all, you know, going to probably have that same sort of vibe to them. So obviously the person before me was sort of into that thing. And I'm into that style of music as well. So really, really excited to find these. Like I said, all a buck a piece. So yeah, I mean, this has got to be like at least $50, $60 worth of records for like 10 bucks. So uh, you can't you can't beat it, right? And uh, like I said, if they were a dollar and sort of like crappy condition, I probably wouldn't have picked them up. But looking at them, they all look like they're in excellent condition. So there you go, some classical some jazz, some new age type music for you on this. Um, is it still Tuesday night? I think so. Um, listen, enjoy the evening. I'm going to go to bed. Adios.